and, and she can't make it to church, and she's, she's having trouble in this, and the church that she goes to has done nothing. Hadn't even showed up and said, can, can we watch your baby for you so you can have a little bit of rest? Can we help you in some way? It's a shame. Paul made it clear that the, that the church, the community of faith, fellow believers have a responsibility to pray for those parents and to pray for that child. To come alongside those families. To come alongside that child. To intercede for them. You know what intercessory prayer is all about? Let me give you a real simple definition of intercessory prayer. Praying for somebody that they don't have the sense to know they ought to be praying about themselves. Really? And why not? Remember what I said about grandparents? Grandparents make it through, survive the childhood years and become grandparents and, and they're more mature. They've got a better focus on life. They're not under such pressure and they, they're able to enjoy time with that grandchild that maybe they couldn't have enjoyed with their child because they didn't have that experience. Well, now grandparents stand outside their child's life and look into their, grandpa their grandchild's life and they're in a position to minister to that child and those children. So does the church. You've been there. You've done that. You look at a young couple and you go, man, they're headed down a bad road. We've been there, done that, got the scars. So you know what God would have you to do? Be critical. Go to that couple and say, you're just raising your child bad. No. He would have you to go to that family and and say, I want you to know I'm praying for you. Is there some way we can help you? You know, we were in that situation once, and this is kind of what we did. The community of faith has a part to play. The community of faith has a part to play by providing an atmosphere in which a, child, a parent and the, or parents and their children can bring their child and find Christ. Believers, are you willing to create a community where Chauncey and Amber can bring their child in and, and have the confidence that they're not going to find out about church, but that they're going to find out about Christ? When we talk about dedicating a child, we talk about responsibilities for the parents. We talk about responsibilities for the grandparents. But we also talk about responsibilities for fellow believers. So I'm going to ask Chauncey and Amber and their respective parents if you guys will come up forward. Is she asleep? I'm about to wake her up. Don't swing her over my head. <laughs> Scared poor Amber told her we were going to baptize the baby.
Dear Lord, we thank you for this life. We thank you for Kennedy so much. We thank you that, Father, you have blessed Chauncey and Amber with her. I pray, Father, for this child. Lord, I ask that you would take her, that you would help her to grow to know you, to know how much you love her. I ask, Father, that you would strengthen her parents and give them wisdom beyond their years and to live and to walk in such a manner that leads their child not just to productivity as a, as a member of the human race, but, Father, to meaningfulness in the body of Christ. I pray for her grandparents, for her great-grandparents, and ask that you would strengthen them, give them discernment and wisdom to know what you would have them to do to help this child come to know you and to be useful in your kingdom. Father, for the community of faith, for the church, I ask that you would be with us, Father, and help us to minister to them, to hold them accountable, to reach out to love them as you have loved us. Father, bless Kennedy's life. I pray, Father, she would be useful to you and bring you honor.